Cheers, Brew Reviews. Cooper's Brewery. Blah, blah. Okay, this beer uh, picked up $2. Uh, let's say it's a can collector's uh, dream. It's got the Bathurst Mount Panorama 50 years, V8 supercars. Um, Cooper's released, I think it was 20 pack cans. I think they're about $32 a carton at uh, Dan Murphy's. Anyway, so I got that for two bucks. Uh, it was not nice actually, that's why it was cheap. Um, this beer is 3.5% uh, in Australia. That's a mid-strength beer to compete against the likes of Carlton Mid and Forex Gold. Now, um, it says on the side of the can, naturally conditioned in the can, Coopers are famous for this process which leaves a natural residue of yeast during maturation and gives a cloudy appearance with an enhanced flavour. So, it's bowl conditioned or can conditioned. So, let's crack it open. It doesn't get a very good score on Beer Advocate, but I've had this before. It's going to be very active, like it's stable, mate. So let's um, pour to the side. Usually, with uh, bottle conditioned, uh, normally it's very active. Now, so I've got some yeast to in this can. That's going to swell that. Put it in. A bit weird having a Coopers in a can. Yep, there goes the yeast. A bit of a lava effect happening there. Big chunks of it. You can see it actually off camera. You can see it flowing through. But quite easily, I could have left it in there if you wanted to. Anyway, yeah, the appearance uh, with that yeast, it's hazing up now. Um, plenty of carbonation. Uh, so it's like an orange colour. You got two fingers uh, head, uh, very white. Very white, and there is some condensed bubbles on the top, so it looks a bit creamy on the top. Um, the nose, yeah, definitely the Cooper's yeast is there, the, the doughy banana yeast coming through, maybe some lemon, but um, yeah, pretty much standard. So, um, yeah, I just had some uh, buffalo wings, so let's get into it. Cheers. You definitely get citrus, like uh, <clears throat> there's a light citrus uh, flavour coming through. A little bit of bitterness, a bit more bitterness in your lager. And you do get a drying sensation at the end. Carbonation. Yeah, it's a little, little bit prickly, but it's not too bad. I've had worse. Very light, refreshing. It's a very good mid-strength beer. Um, it drinks, uh, it goes down very easy. It's a bit like a, a, a tame version of a Cooper's Sparkling Ale. Yeah, maybe that citrus bit of lemon zest. The malt, the malt profile is there. It'd be mid-strength, it's uh, not overly sweet. Yeah, what can I say? It's if you had Coopers, you know what I'm talking about. Um, on the nose, you drink and get more of that bit of uh, banana yeastiness to it, but yeah, it's all right. And we are getting some lacing on this English pub glass. <coughs> right I I think it's very good for a mid strength beer. Uh, the Coopers mild ale. Yeah, I'm happy to give this a B plus. Full style, it's very good. It's something different. It offers a bit more flavour than, say, Forex Gold or Cult Mid. And you can have a few and still dry up home uh, at the pub. So, yeah, B plus Coopers, hold up. Right, thank you for watching this episode of Jazz Brew Reviews. Till next time, take care. I'll see you later.